Get him, get him, get him. I was too far away from all my guys. Passive healing should be turned on on all day at on. Oh, they're getting hit for like a ton. I forgot to do this. Alrighty, guys. So, welcome back to Ark, where today we're finally doing it. We're fighting the Alpha Brood Mother. That's the goal. Alright? I got everything ready. The only thing I haven't done is gone and repaired my armor because I figured, heck, it does not have a lot of damage on it. But, yeah, we got all the theories set up. We got two Deodons. We got a Utai. I did set me up a little area here because of. Yeah, I get cryopods and all that. And I did put a bed here just in case I do die. I have a place to respawn. And yeah. Um, so all these guys are decently leveled. Uh, they run from 40k health to 50k health, generally. So like 40k here. Um, I might be able to find a 50k one. That's a 38k. There, there are some where they do dip pretty low. And 38. A lot of them are 38s, I guess. Oh, yeah, I think a lot more of them are 38s than I thought. Yeah, yeah, let's just go with a 40k on these guys. But some of them should have 50k health. I, I, I'm absolutely certain of that. Um, Let's check the inner ring. I got a bunch of guys here that are on the inside. Uh, to doom. Yep, 50k. So, yeah. But anything... Anyways, I also... Ah, I'm stuck. I gotta crawl out of here. So... Another thing I did was I changed our stack mod because just because of how much storage like smithies have and all that, for me to mass produce say fairy saddles, I need uh I need a lot of room. And well, I had to increase the stack size. So this meat here is our is basically ten thousands our new stack size, uh with a ninety percent weight decrease. Which that was the only other one that we had for a stack mod, besides using the normal arc stacking mechanics which that doesn't change the weight and you know i don't want to go balls to the walls with the weight so anyways what i'm gonna do here is it is time what i need to do is enable passive healing on both the deodons access this terminal transfer all that except my shotgun shells and hit this is it we we start as soon as i do this Okay, we're going. I had a lot more room in this than I thought. I think I always do that as well. I think I need more room than I do. So, uh, first thing we do when we get in there, we gotta get a uh, thumbnail. So, I will hit be hitting pause, and we were going into photo mode. So, we'll get a decent one. I'll even keep you guys along for it, so that way. My Utai. Ooh, toggle photo mode. Why not? Gotta go photo mode. Alright, why aren't any of these guys attacking? I have my... I thought I had my attack groups set up. But, yeah, we gotta get a nice Broodmother thumbnail here. I think that right there looks like a decent shot of the Broodmother. If I could get a little bit closer. I can't. Her hitbox is interfering. I think that right there is a good shot. Okay. Ready? Get him. Get him. Get him. I was too far away from all my guys. Passive healing should be turned on on all day at on. Oh, they're getting hit for like a ton. I forgot to do this. Tear them apart. That should give them some damage resist that in damage buffs. Come on, guys. I'm here with you. We should be able to do this. There you guys. I'm not gonna do that again. Whistle attack this target. Just destroy the brood mother here.
I guess a couple of fairies breaking off every now and again to kill off all the spiders isn't that bad. That's probably actually a really good thing. And I'm not seeing much blood on any... Oh, I see one bloody fairy. That's about it. I only see one bloody fairy. We haven't lost any yet. I got spiders on me. One of those Deodons is healing, at least. That's the good thing. I can't even see the UD's attacks. I don't know how much damage the UD is doing. I at least know that a lot, a lot of the damage is above 500. Actually, a lot of it is at 500, and a good chunk of it is above. So we got, we got a decent spread here on damage. And I'm absolutely certain we're going to get her here. At this point... Yeah, at this point, we got her. She's dead to rights. Fairy army has done it. The Therizino army has done it. That's the brood mother. Ooh, supply crate. Is this how you get stuff now? Oh, it's how I get my... Oh, you know what I haven't done as well? Okay, so back in my old single player server... I actually gone into the inning settings and changed what they drop. So, <laughs> yeah. Is that an Arnie's stuff? Oh, how how much damage did you guys take? You guys look like you were the center of the dam. You took a bit. I want to say that the saddles definitely helped you guys a lot. Oh my god, you nearly died. You were below half health. You good? Oh, you're like the one of the lower... You're one of the lowest levels. Um... Oh, this level 4 over here. This 304 over here is about to die. Oh, he's at half health. Okay, he's doing a lot better than other dinos. Are there any, uh... Explorer notes hidden in here? By chance? Any Explorer notes hidden in the boss arena? We're gonna do a quick lap around it, because we do got time. I just, I'm just wondering, because, like, it gave me time. It's no way that it was, that was just for the drop. There's got to be something else in here. And probably right as I spot it, we're going to get teleported out. I don't think there's actually anything in here. Yeah, I don't think... I think I'm just tripping. It's only the Overseer boss fight that has a terminal in it, I'm pretty sure. And, of course, the Manticore. It's basically any of the boss fights you get an Ascension from. Alrighty, now here comes the fun part. we got to pack everything up. So... Rhino, please, I just whistled land. You're just now chilling. Yo, where are you going? Okay. Thank you for landing. What I need to do is pack everything up now, because we got to get back to the base. I can't believe we did it that easily. I mean, a lot of our guys took a lot of damage, but it's just the fact that, honestly, I wasn't 100% sure on this. I was expecting, like, maybe one or two attempts where I have to uh, go change up the dinosaurs, but fairies? Theories did it, and you know what? These weren't even, uh, bred. The stats weren't even bred to be perfect on them. Like, it was not high, like, a very high health or a very high melee on all of them. It was legit just random theories out of two 150 adults I got that did this. Which is impressive, right? Honestly. Dude, did you eat? You chewed through all that food, didn't you? Huh? We'll disable that. You can go back in your cryopod, though, man. I'll pop you back out at the base so that way you can get some food in you. Oh, can't forget all that meat though on him. That's a lot of stuff to just leave behind. Same with you, buddy. It's a lot of meat on you just to leave behind. And we'll disable your passive healing and pack you up. So this is basically going to be the rest of my evening. Is packing up dinosaurs into their cryopods. And then proceeding to go play Halo, Cursed Halo, so that way I can get another video for you guys. So, if you guys have liked this video, again, please do leave a like and subscribe. Um, and as well, we do currently have a sub goal and a membership goal for the channel that is ongoing. So for our sub goal, we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers this year. Last year, I had the goal set for 1,000. You guys hit it way before 
a good, I think it was a good two months before the end of the year. So I believe we can do that again here. I think we can hit 10,000. Absolutely. We've been growing very fast here recently, and I'm pretty sure we can keep it up and get the growth even higher. And as well, for the membership goal, we are currently trying to get 10 members for the YouTube channel. And what that is, is like the actual YouTube channel memberships for $1.99. And once we have 10 of those, we are going to be opening up a public ARC server for, not public, a private ARC server for all the YouTube channel members to come and play on. And of course, I do have some other YouTuber friends that would be hopping on with us. And of course, I would be hopping on and we would be having a series and holding events and all that and as well we might be doing other stuff for channel members but anyways this has been gunshy more signing off